Hey, it's Tim here. In 21.4, Tableau have now enabled the ability to customize the comparison periods for metrics and also update how they are created. You can also add things like status indicators with color. And then in another video after this one, I'll show you how you can actually embed metrics in an embedded view. But for this video, we're just gonna to stick to how to create the updated items in metrics. Here I'm in a view, I'm on a standard Superstore dashboard here. And in essence, to create a metric, you just need to make sure that you head to this menu up here on the top right hand side. If you can't see this, it's probably because the permissions have been disabled or you don't have the right license level. Just get in touch with whoever manages Tableau in your organization and they should be able to switch this on for you. If you select metrics, you get this little sort of uh, area here on the right. And you can see that I already have a metric here. It's actually based on this furniture metric here on the left hand side so you can see that it says 22.83 thousand and it's essentially tracking that final value it's important to note that it's tracking a specific data point it's not tracking uh, sort of the sum total of this so you can see if here it says furniture 22,830 and that's exactly what we're seeing here to create a new metric all we need to do is select create and when we do that it does ask us to select a data point so if I go here and select this one for office supplies you'll see this value actually changes to 34.7k that is the value that's just there 34.7 K now one of the new things here if I just move my face to the left is you've got this ability to customize the comparison period what I'm talking about specifically here is this little window here this section here is new in 21.4 we can actually say that look you wanted to compare it not just via versus the previous month but we can actually say look <clears throat> look at the last rolling 12 months and it will show us how the performance is doing compared to the previous 12 months. So of course, if we look at this data, everything up until here is, is essentially sort of part of that comparison. So it's basically saying, look, over the last 12 months, how much has this grown? Okay, and that's essentially what this um, metric is doing. You can also show the comparison line. So you can actually see the previous 12 months as a line uh, and, and it's basically going to show that, which is not quite nice. And you can define the measure. You can look at profit or you can look at sales. And of course, the measure here is again coming from this visualization. So if I look at this little, uh, you know, this little white area, this is actually the profit uh, that's being displayed here. And um, it's essentially just comparing the profit over that time period as well. So um, it's a really sort of nice uh, thing to have here, being able to sort of customize it to this level of detail. And once you're pretty much done, you can hit create and then you're pretty much done. You could, you've got a metric ready to go. So that's the first change in 21.4. Um, you can sort of see this metrics uh, just here now. I should have two. The other type of metric you can create in 21.4 let's just go over to technology and let's track technology as a, as a metric is we can actually uh, instead of doing historic comparison we can compare it against a constant so the constant here can be a value that we've set let's say our target is to be over 40,000 so let's just type that in you can see the 40,000 line is created here at the top you can just see it dotted all the way across and we're just above it 2,240 above and you can see that it sets that value now what we can do as we can say, if it's above uh, the target, then it's good. If it's uh, at the value, it's neutral. And if it's below, then it's bad. And so now that we've done that, let me show you how the different values look like. So if I just type in 42,000, let's, let's get this exact value, 42,238. So 42,238. And if we just set that value there, it should be right on the line. It's 47 pence above, so 0.47. Now that should be at target. You'll see that it says at target exactly there, which is uh, sort of interesting. And then if we just say that the constant value, let's say is 50,000, um, then we should see that it goes red here at the top um, to sort of show that it's not at target. So uh, there's a whole range of different sort of options you can sort of go through. If I just undo these, you can see this is at target, this is above target. And if we go forward, that's at target and that's uh, below target. So this is a really nice to sort of have feature. These metrics start to become really more vibrant. And again, you hit create. And when you create these, uh, of course, the metrics do get published into a specific project folder. We'll go to this now and take a look at these metrics. So you can see that this is the one that I created uh, earlier on. And if I actually just go back to the 21.2 folder where these are being created, you can see here they are. Uh, we can actually sort by the specific uh, content type. So let's just look at the three metrics. And here you are, you can see the different uh, sort of metrics running there. So this was actually an old star metric that was already there. This is one of the new ones with the comparison period. And this one is one of the new ones with the status indicator either way. 
So that's pretty much it for this feature. I think this is really nice. These are becoming more portable. And in the next video, I'll show you how this can now be embedded alongside Tableau dashboards in an embedded platform. I'm gonna do a basic embed. We don't have time here to go into the mechanics of embedding. I'm just gonna do a simple copy and paste of the embed code in that video. So be sure to check that out. I'll catch you in the next video.